So you just went to boot your PC and all of a sudden you're getting this error. And depending on whether this is a brand new system or not, it could mean different things. So if you're booting your system for the first time, then this video is not gonna solve your problem. And for that fix, you'll wanna watch my other video in the link below. And yes, although unlikely, it is possible that your motherboard is just flat out borked, whether it's new or old. And if that's the case, well then obviously there is no fix for you. But if your system's not new, then more than likely one of two things has happened. And the worst of the two being either your CPU fan or pump has actually died. So obviously if your CPU fan isn't spinning, then it's dead. And if you don't feel any flow throughout your pump, then it's dead. But on the other hand, if they are working, then your CMOS battery has died. And that is an incredibly cheap fix. Because as you can see here, a CMOS battery is nothing more than a basic 2032 coin cell battery that you can get for a couple dollars at any grocery store. And to replace it, just push down on the tab to pop the old one out and pop the new one in. Now, since the CMOS battery is what holds all your BIOS settings, obviously when it died, there went your settings too. So you're gonna have to redo all of your settings. But as far as the actual BIOS version, that's actually saved on a separate non-volatile chip. So you won't have to re-update that. And once you've done that, the error should go away and you'll boot into Windows just fine. And if the error doesn't go away after that, then you for sure have a defective motherboard on your hands. And that's it for this one, guys. Hope you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips, benchmarks, and build videos and more.